welcome to Joystick News, where we talk about the latest video game news and updates. Today, we're discussing Dying Light 2's latest update, the Gut Feeling Update. This update has brought several improvements and new content to the game, with a focus on adding physicality and brutality to the combat system. Overview Dying Light 2 was launched in early February 2022 and has already sold over 5 million copies in its first month of availability. Techland has been dedicated to providing post-launch content for the game, and the Gut Feeling update is one of the major updates they've planned for its players. This update brings improvements in visuals, gameplay, and new features like gear transmog, weapon crafting, and the Pilgrim Outpost website. Combat Improvements One of the most exciting features of the update is the improvement in combat. Techland has added new dismemberment animations visualizations for specific enemy damage, and improved blood and guts visuals. Players can now cut demolishers and other enemies in half, with every limb having three cut locations. There are new hit detection codes for improved enemy reactions and new hit reactions for a more immersive experience. Gear Transmog and Weapon Crafting the Gut Feeling update has also introduced Gear Transmog, allowing players to adjust their appearance without affecting equipped gear pieces. Weapon crafting is another major feature of this update, giving players full control over their loadout. You can gather weapon blueprints by exploring the city and craft them with randomized affixes. Pilgrim Outpost The Pilgrim Outpost website is another new feature of the Gut Feeling update. Players can activate bounties and receive Pilgrim reputation points for completing them. Earning Reputation Ranks grants Pilgrim tokens, which can be spent at the armory to acquire unique weapons and outfits. Bounties refresh weekly, encouraging players to revisit the game for special challenges and rewards. Other Improvements Apart from these major changes, the update brings several other improvements to the game. Players can teleport to their co-opus partners, enemies can be knocked over with slides, two-handed weapons have been buffed, and there are more encounters during the day. In conclusion, Dying Light 2's Gut Feeling update has brought several exciting changes to the game. The improvements in combat, gear transmog, weapon crafting, and the Pilgrim Outpost website have made the game more enjoyable and engaging for its players. If you haven't already, it's time to return to the game and see what's new. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more video game news and updates.